You asked for it, and I made it. Here it is. It's the update video for Cinespot. Let's get right into it. So my last video about Cinespot got over 10,000 views at the time of making this video, and it's actually pretty outdated now. Yeah, there's uh, about oh, there's been Updeem new versions since then. So it's about time that I remade the video with a whole lot of new features, explaining how to do a little bit more, and going over a couple of common issues at the end because uh, people seem to be getting a few. Um, anyway, every part of this video is in a section, and all those sections are linked in the description. So head down to the description now, choose which bit you want to watch. Um, if you want to get started from the beginning, well, let's just go straight into it. So let's start off with what you need. You're going to need a Ubuntu Debian Linux server, okay? Pretty simple. You can buy them from quite a few online providers. A good provider is OVH.com, and you can see their website right here. When you go onto the website, all you're going to want to do is go along to the top of the page, uh, hover over cloud, and then just click VPS SSD. It's going to bring you to their cheap range. This VPS here will do it perfectly. When installing, make sure you select Ubuntu 16.04, uh, any Ubuntu really, um, but it has to be 64-bit. So, yep, cool, got that, let's go. Um, you're also going to need PuTTY, but I mean, if you have, if you're watching this video, you're going to know what PuTTY is. PuTTY is this right here, it is a remote control program. I can type in here, and I can control the server. So, that's the two things you're going to need, and... There is not many ways to get a free Linux server. They are out there, but be wary because a lot of the free servers online are just scams to get your email address and spam you with junk. Okay, well, let's get started. So, you're going to want to download Putty if you haven't already. You can get it from here. Link in the description. You're just going to need to grab the installer right here if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac, different story. I'll make another video about that if I ever end up getting a Mac computer, which I probably won't. Um, we can close that tab, and this is the homepage of Cinespot. Um, although you're not going to need to go on it because I have another page that will guide you through how to install it. Well, that's about all you need, so let's get into installing the bot. In the last video that I made, I used the official guide on how to install it. For some reason, I can't edit that guide anymore, so I've made my own guide on my website. I'm going to try and keep the links always up to date on my website, but if they aren't, well, you can just get them from the corresponding websites, but they should be up to date. Anyway, let's get straight into the install. So, for all of these commands, I'm just going to copy and paste and explain what they do for each step. So, to copy something, you just copy it like you normally would, and to paste it into PuTTY, all you do is you right-click, as I'll show you now. So, the first command we're going to want to run is to install the dependency. So, just copy it, and then right-click on PuTTY, and press Enter. It's going to install all of them, and it'll be done in a second. Now that's done, you want to copy the second command, and paste it in again, and press Enter. Last but not least, you can run this third command, but normally it's installed by default, you don't have to, but it's a safe just to do it anyway. So, just do it anyway. So now you want to add the user for the bot. I'm going to call it Cinespot because that's what I've called it on the website, so let's add that now by typing add user and then the name of the user. It's then going to prompt you to enter a password. Make this up, or whatever, use your main password doesn't really matter, and then it's going to ask you for a full name, you can just press enter for each one of these, and it skips them. When you get to the last option, press Y, and then press enter. You've now made the user. Now we want to switch the user we just created by typing SU, which stands for switch user, and then the name of the user we just created. Now we want to change to the base directory of the user with CD. Cool, let's scroll down on my page a bit here. So now what we want to do is we want to download the bot. Right, so just copy this command right here, and paste it in, and press enter, and it's going to download the bot. Right, now that it's downloaded, copy the next command, which will extract the bot. This is an optional step, but if you'd like, you can type ls and press enter to show the files in the folder. If it shows something like this, then you know you've done it right. 
Now we want to copy the default configuration to the configuration the bot will actually use with this command right here. So copy it again, paste it into PuTTY and press enter. Now we want to download TeamSpeak. This is a TeamSpeak client, not a server. So just copy the command from the website here and then paste it into PuTTY again. It's going to download it. Now we need to tell the server to run the file. So first we need to type chmod777 and then teamspeak.run. As a quick shortcut in PuTTY, you can actually press the tab key to auto-complete lines. For example, I just typed in team and pressed tab and it corrected it to teamspeak.run. But you can only do that if it's the only file called team in the directory. So once you've typed it, then press enter. And then you want to type dot slash team and then press tab again. It's then going to say this. So what you want to do is press enter, Q, and then Y, and then enter. And now we've successfully extracted the TeamSpeak. Now what we want to do is we want to edit the configuration of Cinespot to tell it where we put TeamSpeak. So do this by typing N-A-N-O, otherwise known as Nano, and then config, or just con, and press tab. What we want to edit is this line right here. I'll show you what you do. If you're installing it in the same place as I am, all you want to do is you want to go to this slash here and just backspace everything to here. Now we want to type home slash Cinespot. Cool. Press Control and X at the same time, Y, and then Enter. And now we've done that. Let's scroll down on the page again, because we're getting pretty good. Um, now we want to copy the Cinespot plugin into the TeamSpeak folder. So copy this command right here, and paste it in, and press Enter. Now we need to make the Cinespot script runnable. Pretty simple. Just do the chmod. I'm just going to copy it, and paste it in. To keep things tidy, you can remove the extra files if you want, but I'm just going to leave them there. So when you've done, type ls and press enter, and you should be able to see a folder called TeamSpeak3 Client. That's good, if you see that, you did it right. Now we've got the bot installed, we're practically done. If you wanted to run the bot, you could just type dot slash Cinespot, and I am going to do that right now. But you'll find if you close PuTTY, it's going to stop the bot. So I'll show you how to make the bot run always in a minute. But first, we need to get the default username and password that it creates for us. So what you want to do is you want to press enter right here. It's going to run a few things. So let it do that. And when it gets to about there, you can press control and C at the same time, where it says TS3 client quit. It may glitch a bit. Just press enter and that solves it. You're going to want to scroll up a little bit, and somewhere around up here, here it is, it generated our username and password. So I'm just going to copy this and put it on my notes on the other screen, and then I, we can use them in the future. So this is different for every installation of Cinespot, so you're going to need to scroll up and grab it from here, and note it down. Well, we've got Cinespot installed and working, so now we'll move over to the boot script. Let's do that. So, another guide, yes, on my website as well. A boot script. It's probably not the right name for it, but anyway, this is a script that will tell the server to run Cinespot by itself without you needing to do anything. So, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to switch back to the root user. So, if you're in Cinespot like I am, because I just finished installing it, just type exit and press enter. Done. Now, let's get straight into the installing. You're going to need to install some dependencies, but normally these are installed by default. If they aren't, well, just run the command. No harm in doing so. Now we want to download this script right here. If you installed the bot in the same location as I did in the installation guide, then you can literally just copy this command and paste it in, and it's going to download it. Next, you just want to chmod this file. Cool, that's it. Now. If you installed it somewhere else, you would just type nano and then etc init dot d slash cinespot. Um, and then if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that I've set it to home cinespot with the user cinespot. Cool. That's how you set those two, but by default you don't need to edit anything, so don't worry about it. Now all you need to do is you just need to run this command right here to update it. So run that command. It's going to show a few things like this. 
and then just do service center spot and then it's going to show you what commands you can do so service center spot start and now the center spot is running just like that now that we've finished installing that boot script now we're going to want to open this center spot so open up a new tab and go to the ip of your server followed by 8087 just like that it's then going to bring you to the login page where you can log into the bot now, you're going to need the username and password that you got when you installed it. So I'm just going to copy that from my other screen and copy the password and paste it in. And we're in. We're in the bot. This is the interface. How good is that? So the last thing you're going to want to install, and I imagine a lot of you are going to want to get this, is a YouTube downloader for the bot. This will allow you to upload YouTube videos to the bot without having to physically upload them to the bot. Okay? So, I've made another guide on my website, and we'll go to that now. So now it's time to install the YouTube DL software. You can do this very easily by following this guide right here. So if you've been following the rest of my guide, you'll probably find that this is already installed. But it doesn't hurt to do it anyway. So run the command, and then what you want to do is download YouTube DL with this command here. It's a one command download, and you've basically got it. Next, just run this command right here to change the permissions of the file. And that's practically it. You're done. Now you want to head over to the CineSpot config file and change it and show it where YouTube DL is. For example, YouTube DL is installed right here. You can copy it from this part here, but it's in slash user slash local slash bin slash YouTube dash DL. Anyway, let's edit the file now. So type nanoconfig.ini to edit it. And now that you're in the file, all you want to do is make sure that slash user slash local slash bin slash YouTube dash DL is pasted in between right there. And then when you're done, press Control and X and then you're out. If it asks you to save the file, press Y and then press Enter. Now that we're done, we need to restart the bot. But first, if you're hosting on an OVH service that has IPv6, you might need to run this command right here. So let's run it just to make sure, and then restart the bot with this command here. And now that it's restarted, let's head over to our center spot and test it out with this video right here. You should be able to add it, and it will say downloading. It'll download pretty quickly if it's a server, and then when you go to music and refresh the page, it should show up right there. So there it is right there, my channel welcome video, just like that. Now that we've done that, let's just cover how to connect the bot to your TeamSpeak server and how to make another bot. Well, you can have two instances on this version, so let's get into that. So you're going to want to head up to Settings along the top. If you want to make another bot straight away, you can just go to Instances and create one. But for now, I'm just going to click Instance Settings and show you how to connect it to your server. It's extremely straightforward. All you need to do is change the nickname of the bot, this is the name of the bot in your TeamSpeak, and your TeamSpeak IP right here. For example, if your TeamSpeak IP was my TeamSpeak, ts.socialdistrict.net, and then you can just call it musicbot, and then save it, and then when you connect, it's going to join the server, just like that. Keep in mind, if you're using a custom port, you need to put it right here, otherwise it's not going to work too well. We just covered how to connect one bot, so how do you connect the second one? Pretty simple, just head down to instances and create another instance. I'm just going to call this bot2. You're going to want to select it with this button right here, and then go to instance settings again, and just fill it out again like you would. That's all you have to do, and then save it, and then connect it. Now that we've covered that, let's cover how to install scripts on it. Scripts are a really useful feature and a lot of people use them and you can get them for free on the CineSpot website. So let's get into that. So this is the script website. You can install lots of scripts, but for now, we're going to install the digital clock. You're going to need to open a file browser that is connected to your server like this one right here. So in here, I should have a folder called CineSpot and I do. And in CineSpot, I have all my CineSpot files that I've just created with Putty. To install a script, all you have to do is just drag the download into the scripts folder. 
So let's do that now. I just got to log in real quick. Now that I'm logged in, I just click download now, download the file, and then upload it. So let's upload it now. And now I'm uploading it. Now that it's uploaded, all you have to do is restart the bot once again by typing service CineSpot restart. And then when we go back into CineSpot up here, we should be able to find the script under scripts. There it is, digital clock. You can enable it and configure it however you like. And that's how to install scripts. Now we need to cover creating more users for a bot. It's very easy to do this, but remember you cannot bind one user to one bot. So if you make a user account, they can control any bot from the two that you've created. Anyway, let's create a user. Just hop down to user accounts under the settings tab and then just click add new user. You can then type in the username and password that you would like to use, just like so, and then click add. After creating the user, we need to grant it a few permissions so it can actually do stuff. You're going to need to find the one that says login, so just scroll through here, there we go, login. We might want to give it a few more permissions like in queuing songs, uploading music and controlling the playback. So let's do that now, yep, upload files. That seems about right. So let's log out of the account we're in now and then log into the one I just created, like so. And we are now in the user that I just created. And as you can see, we don't have access to the admin side of the panel, so we can't change all the settings. We can only control the music. So now that we've done that, you might want to know, how do I use commands? How do I make it work? How can I sync a user on the bot to a group on the TeamSpeak? It's very simple. All you need to do to sync the group on TeamSpeak to the CineSpot is find the ID of the group. You can find this by editing the permissions advanced um, and then just typing in the ID of the group down here, for example, 12. Now, anyone who is in the user group 12 on TeamSpeak will be able to run the same permissions as user, but they won't be able to log in because they don't know the password. Now that you've done that, you can give people permission to do exclamation mark YT. So you can give all your guests permission to play custom songs on the bot. There's even plugins where you can vote skip songs if people don't like it. It's as simple as that. And if you'd like to assign a user to your own account, you don't have to use groups. You can just edit the user and then you can bind it to an identity right here. If it's connected to the TeamSpeak, it'll show up and you just click it and click save. And then you will have all the permissions on TeamSpeak that you do on here. And then you can run commands like exclamation mark YT and a link after or exclamation mark volume. And that's all you need to do to make it work. Alright, so I think I covered everything I missed in my last video, and everything is updated on this video. Thank you very much for watching, I hope it helped a lot. If it did help, please subscribe, it's going to boost my confidence, and I'm going to make more tutorial videos like this. And uh, if you have any issues, troubles, or even questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond. I can usually respond in a day or so, and uh, yeah, I suppose next major update, another video, but... Man, this is a long video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on next video. Bye, guys.